Wow, how do you come up with these so quickly, man? Because I'm just goofing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, hey everybody, welcome to Photographers and Cars. I'm Spencer. I'm Scott. <laughs> Newest episode yet. Yes. Happy New Year. It is. Uh, it is 2019 now. God, man, where did 2018 go? Oh, it's right over there. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> Yeah. Not my favorite yeah. year, but I got to say. <laughs> oh, that's that's going to make this episode very interesting then cuz yeah. I want to ask you for 2018, what's you know kind of like your what your your major thing. I always look back at the year and it's like, you know, what did I learn or what was something I did that I really enjoy I want to do again? Mm -hmm. And then, you know, apply that to 2019. So what am I going to do this year? And, oh, okay. And uh, so That's now that you just topic. said that 2018 was not your favorite <laughs> year, I am very interested to hear no. your answer to that question. Okay. So it, it's it's kind of outside of the photographic realm. Uh, but, oh, okay. Yeah. But I mean, no, there had been... <laughs> I mean, like, I have like a pet that died. I mean, like, <sighs> now I feel bad. <laughs> no, it's, it's all good. No, it's, if I were to turn up the volume in this car... By the way, this car doesn't have an on-off for the radio. It's either zero volume or 11. That's because Elon, Yeah. Uh, it does it actually have 11? It does. It goes all the way that to 11. Elon great. Musk has that, that thing. All right, but it's on NPR. And so NPR is what I fill my brain with every, be in between shots. Okay. And so just like the stuff that happened in 18 just seemed like, ah, uh, it just it, it didn't. Ah, okay. It, it didn't engage me. Anyway, but. Um, How about photographically? Photogra Let's stick with photographically. Okay. So yeah. photographically. Uh, 2018, it was, it was, a, it was a decent year. Um, uh, I kind of, uh, I, I, it's showed me that I want to kind of focus on more of my passion projects. And I have mm -hmm. been, I've been doing a lot of the stuff that, um, uh, of the things that I want to pick up a camera and take pictures to do something that I feel is important to me. Mm -hmm. So, I, uh, yeah, I, I, I started doing some of that in 18 and 19. I want to do more of it. Mm, okay. Yeah. And you? Um, for 18, like the stuff that um, stands out was was broadening the workshop scope. I did a Death Valley workshop yeah. in 2018. Had never done that before. Scoped out it two great. other. It yeah. was fun. Yeah, it was a good one. Uh, you know, scoped out two other locations I'd not done workshops before at. One of them is already set for, for 2019. That's going to happen. And I might do another like you yeah. know new location toward the end of 2019 so that's that you know kind of that was the 2018 that was the thing that kind of was like an aha moment for me like oh yeah you know try doing more more places more spaces take on me and uh it was aha okay moment. uh -huh. <laughs> norwegian rock from the 1980s <laughs> they were norwegian right i don't know i just know they're just look it up <laughs> oh man but yeah so the, i think that that's that's kind of it for me i mean you know there's um i, I can't think of a particular like you know a, a frame or a photo or you know, that i capture it's like wow you know this one you know everything like supremely came together and yeah. it's like you know uh it's not sticking out in my brain so it's not that it's not memorable or it's not a nice photo but it's not yeah. one of those um you know i'll have a handful of those in my life probably so you know, sometimes yeah. you get those in a year. Sometimes you don't. So yeah. uh, when I photograph families, uh, there's a lot of times when I'll look through my viewfinder and I'll be and I'll take the shot and then, and I'll um, uh, chimp real fast and I'll mm -hmm. look at it. I'm like, oh, that's a really good shot. I love it. The line looks so good. And I'm smiling. The kids are like there. They're not running. Some I have a little ones of those that yeah. happen like every time I do a family shoot. Uh, I I have those. What I think has defined 2018 for me for like my photograph stuff, um, I have been, like I said, I've been starting my passion projects again. And this mm -hmm. year I got to work with a plus size model and um, a smoke grenade. So that was kind of fun oh, Okay, That's to go do some yeah. stuff like that. Yeah. And I've never done anything like that before. So uh, it, it sticks out in my mind because it was, uh, you know, it's kind of breaking new ground. Yeah. Um, that's pretty neat. Um. But uh, yeah, I, for 2019, man, I I want to travel. I'm, we already have a trip to the Caribbean planned. Oh, nice! I'm gonna go. Uh, I want to see if I can go and just like rely on my drone for the whole time. That's gonna be weird. Well, I think that's gonna be weird for you just to only bring one thing. I mean, I've seen your photos of I'm packing for this trip, and it's basically yeah. a camera store in a bag. Yeah, man. Um, <laughs> yeah, you're not gonna believe I'm gonna say this, but. I took a lot more pictures in 2018 with my camera phone and I look at them and I'm like, 
Not bad, not bad. For like the um, <laughs> for the middle of the day, like I said, like from like the ten a.m. to the yeah you know, yeah 4 yeah. When the lighting range, cooperates, when the light's decent, yeah, the phone does a really good job. So, uh, yeah. so that's the thing. I'm I might do. You know, I'm I'm lying. I'm probably gonna bring at minimum one of these RX zeros that are surrounding me because you know there's gonna be water, and these things are yeah. these things are waterproof. I'm going through the same debate right now at the very tail end of. Uh, of 2018, yeah. you know, um, taking a trip to San Francisco and okay, I'm, I'm this is a little weird because I said it was 2019, but hey, it's 2018 when we record this. Give me a break, guys. <laughs> Come on. Um, I'm like, do I really want to bring my camera or not? Yeah. You know, it's a family thing. It's like, so I haven't, I haven't decided. You got these, <laughs> I don't know. You got these handy dandy RX zeros that fit in your pocket. Yeah, I don't know. Well, so does my phone. <laughs> yeah, no, <laughs> you know, that's true. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. So, but you know, so back to 2019. So for, um, like you know, passion projects. What's um, what's do you have one that you haven't started that's in mind, or continuing something you began? Yeah, uh, so it, it's kind of an abstract right now, and I'm I'm toying with the idea of of uh, people and nature, and I want to see how we can uh, complement each other. And so, like, I want to I, I'm first thing that comes to my mind right now: forest, and then a person in okay. a forest, and I just want to see. You know, I, w- I want to uh, bring them together. I want to see how that's going to come out. And so, like, I have to sit down and brainstorm with a potential model and go, you know, who's also in this? Who wants mm, to do it okay. with me? And so I just have to figure out um, what we can do. And, and um, So it wouldn't be like a person named Forest in a forest, a person named River in a river. Oh, that would be so person cool. Named Brooke well, Brooke. How do you come up with these so quickly, man? Because I'm just goofing. <laughs> <laughs> that was not serious. Gosh. <laughs> because that wouldn't come through in the photo. Yeah, Unless uh, it was Forrest Gump yeah. or Brooke Shields, my, in which case then maybe, you know. <laughs> and River Phoenix, was, he's not with us anymore, so we can't do it. Yeah, yeah. You know. so, but that sounds cool, though. So, I mean, it's just trying to fuse, I mean, is there like a, um, some type of, uh, you know, a higher message in this whole thing about, you know, like, you know ecology or? or yeah, uh, I, I, or? I, I, yes. Okay. Uh, I, I want to see, uh, I want to, I want to kind of show that we can be friends, we don't have to combat each other. We don't have mm. to tear down forests. You know, I, there, there's another idea that I'm also, uh, there was, I was chatting with a guy. I was like, hey, snow, how are you in snow? Let's go do something in the snow. Um, let's go do something in the water. Let's go do something where there's a lot of green. Let's go mm. do something in the desert. So it'll be kind of like, this is humans complementing the environment and, you know, not attacking it or something. I don't know. Oh, okay. I don't know. So I, I haven't really given it too much thought because of the, um, the craziness of whirlwind of 2018. Mm-hmm. So once mm-hmm. the dust begins to settle and I'll have time to clear and focus um, my mind, I'll be able to, to get a better idea. Mm. How about you? Um, 2019. So I'd probably phrase it as do less and finish more. I started mm. a lot of things in 2018. I felt, as I look at the year, I was kind of all over the map. I was yeah. you know, bouncing around through a lot of different things and didn't really finish. I don't know if I finished one of them, maybe. Maybe. But I, I, I started either a few projects or you know, a video series or so forth. And didn't I, you know, a, a video course that I, I barely ended up scratching the surface on as much as I sketched out a whole yeah. ton of it. So stuff like that, I, I, I got involved in starting a lot of projects and then not finishing them because you know, there's a finite amount of time. That's the life so, of a photographer. Yeah. Who so, else has a nine to five? <laughs> well, I mean, it's just, you know, it doesn't matter who you are. If you, if yeah. you try to start too many things. So that's kind of like, uh, what I want to do for 2019 is I need to pick like three things and say, I'm, I'm going to work on these. Um, you know, especially, you know, for my business, a big portion of it's the education angle. Mm-hmm. I really didn't have a new educational product all oh. of 2018. I mean, very beginning of the year, I'd, I'd put out a book and that, you know, that just gets iterated a little bit as, uh, as software changes. So that, you know, I need, to, I need to change that. Yeah. That's, that's important for the business. But also, I kind of realize I enjoy doing that. You know, yeah, I like, cool. that's why I like teaching. You know? So. So that's it. You know. Well, I look forward yeah. to, to seeing it. I know there's going to be some new software. Well, actually, as of right now, there's going to be new software released in the coming days. There's always yeah. There's always so, new stuff coming out it'd there. It'd be great but, to. Yeah. But uh, but yeah, it's you know it's 
finish finish stuff. Uh, you know, start don't start something new until I've finished something previously. That's <laughs> you know what I, I'd love to take that advice, but I have stuff in my Lightroom catalog. Yeah. I'm not kidding you from 2012, 13, 12 or thirteen. That I still have to finish. Oh, I've got processing. I've got tons of stuff that I know I will never process, and that's okay. Really, that's all right. I know it's never. I, I done. can't. I can't say that's okay. I have yeah. to do it. No, no. I, I, I. I mean, here, case in point, did Acadia in October of mm. 2018. I came back with about 600 photos that actually stayed in the library. Already, yeah. I've already deleted whatever I just thought was. Gosh, done. man, that sounds. I've nice. processed maybe 10. Maybe. Okay. But but the fact that you called it to 600, well, it I still need to do that. before it ever gets anywhere. I mean, I'm ruthless when it comes to it. I mean, if I, you know, and my shooting style is, you know, I've got this scene and I've taken, you know, seven photos of yeah. it. I don't need seven photos of the big rock up on the, oh, on the no, hill right, or whatever. Right. It's like I can get rid of, you know, three of those. So that's what I kind of mean. Like this one, this one's slightly soft or whatever for yeah. whatever reason. Right. That one's gone. Um, there's no sentimentality to it. It's not like, you know, um, there's no people involved. And, yeah. You know, if it was a picture of my family and it's the only photo we have of that area, yeah. I don't care how grainy and sure. horrible, that's the one we keep. You know? <laughs> but, yeah, I mean, there, I, I, there's no joke that they'll never be all processed. Yeah. Okay. You know, no, so I get they'll, it. Just, they'll just stay there forever. And occasionally, you know, that's what good to have a backlog. And yeah. Crack it open during downtime, find something. and I imagine you know, that's what retirement feels like. You're like, I look at my catalog, every image has been finished. Holy oh, I don't moly! Know. <laughs> no, just I don't know about that. So it, it's good to it's good to have goals. I hope you guys also have these. Uh, you know, it's, I think it's kind of nice to 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 chase something that excites you. Yeah, yeah. You know, so and it's okay. And honestly, it's okay if it changes because look, twelve months is a right. long time. Yeah. And uh, you know, we'll see. I mean, I'm sure if I, I dug back through my archives, I could find some recording of me somewhere saying, "This is what I'm going to do in 2018." And <laughs> I don't know how well I did. <laughs> oh. I just said, don't measure it that closely. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, All right. happy new year, everyone. Yeah. Yeah. So happy yeah, you year. got, you got a project you're starting on or whatever, you know, drop it in the comments. Mm -hmm. Let us know somehow. And if um, you're in town, yeah. let us know. Yeah. And... Yeah. If anyone's watching this outside of San Diego, you're coming into town. Yeah. Hit us up and maybe we'll get you in the car. Yeah. Hey, space. there is, space I can fit there. four more people in here. Uh, two more adults and two kids. <laughs> <laughs> just like, yeah. as long as you are of this certain size yeah. <laughs> just kidding. don't mind sitting on someone else's lap <laughs> so thank you guys for listening in um i am worn out from 18 so i might just like skid right out of this car let's do it see ya yeah. but the seats are heated so it's gonna be hard to leave it